Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I know I'm looking really crazy right now, but y'all. Look at our trash people. Can you see our... Can you see our trash people making the turn right there, right? So, I just woke up literally just now. So, I'm literally just waking up, right? Because I haven't even brushed my teeth. And that's what I'm about to go upstairs and do. I literally, like right now, at this very moment, at 8.33, I just woke up. <laughs> because I had this master plan last night. Gosh. It's Friday today trash runs on friday i'm like oh that's fine i'll just um wake up early enough to take the trash and stuff in the outside in the morning i went upstairs again i'm tired but oh should i open that name but um <laughs> i had this master plan i'm like okay um i didn't feel like taking the trash outside last night because i had gotten all comfortable and stuff on the couch by the time i realized um i didn't to take the trash out so i'm like all right you know what? it's fine i'll just go ahead and wake up at um like 7 7 7 30 um to take the bags out no 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 i woke up at to the sound of the trash can the to the trash trash can to the garbage truck <laughs> rolling up the street so i'm like okay what the hell is that noise? Like, I'm literally laying there and I hear the noise and I'm like, what the hell is that? Y'all, I've never jumped directly up out of sleep so fast. I jumped up so fast. I jumped up and over the couch. Went and got the, um, because I thought they were like down the street when I heard them. So I'm like, okay. So I'm moving, you know, and I was moving. <laughs> I'm throwing the trash away. I'm trying to get everything situated because I was desperate to get it out there because... I had a lot of trash bags, okay? I've been doing a I've been doing a lot these past few weeks. Anyway. Um I go to the window. Like I'm taking like the trash bags to the front door to get ready to take it out because I still have to run upstairs and get the trash from the um the little waste baskets upstairs. Y'all, I look out the window. The freaking truck is at the net is at the house next to mine. Like I'm the next stop. Y'all, when I say I'm flying through this house, whoo, 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 throwing trash in a bag, throwing this in a bag, I almost threw Sam in a bag so I can get this damn trash out the door. <laughs> and so, y'all see my hair right now? I literally threw on a sweater some slides and I'm like running outside like a crazy person with three garbage bags full of trash and a box and a freaking scratch and post for a cat like because it was old. I'm running outside and they're, they're just they're literally laughing at me in the garbage truck i see you laughing at me and you think the window's that tinted that i can't see you laughing at me in this garbage truck so i was embarrassed i wave and i say thank you god i'm so stupid and i like jog back in the house <laughs> that's so dumb that is so dumb anyway um i'm andrea by the way welcome back to the vlog if you're new um, what is today's vlog going to be? Honestly, nothing really special. What am I doing today, though? Hmm. Hmm. But I'm about to be studying because as you guys saw in the last vlog, um, yesterday I took the TMC again and I passed, but I did not pass with high cut. So what I was going to do today, work on my my time management when I'm taking the test because not only did I run out of time on this test on on this test that I just took luckily I passed last time I took the test I also ran out of time so I had to start clicking stuff but y'all when I took the NCLEX I ran out of time there too I'd be running out of time to take these tests because I don't have time management like test time management so that is what I'm about to work on today. Go over some more practice questions. Go over my um, normal values, calculate. Like, I'm about to, like, study as if I didn't just pass this test. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and freshen up, do something with myself. Uh, maybe I'll probably leave it like this. 
yeah y'all i also wanted to put the fairy lights and the butterflies up in mia's room um because i am getting mia back in january and i am so excited but i am so nervous at the same time i've been working on her room i've been working on the rooms upstairs but i've been working on her room so i can make it like cozy and cute and this and that and you know but i haven't started darion's room yet since he's going to be spending the rest of his school year with his dad so i have time to at least work on his but mine's is still pretty empty too i'm supposed to be working on the decor because this is my bed setup y'all do y'all like this i think i love this Got a king size bed. I actually refinished these um, nightstands myself. I got them for a total of $50. I think I paid for these. And then the mirrors as well. I ended up putting the trimming, the black trim on the mirrors. But how cute is that? So what I wanna do is I saw this thing on Instagram. It was um, like a a feathery pompous grass type of center to go here and it looks so nice and I'm envisioning it and I want it to cover that space I think that would be really pretty just to have something there and then I was thinking about getting like a chair or something over here like in this corner I don't know if I'm gonna have I don't know what I'm gonna have over there yet maybe a big ass plant or a chair I'm not sure yet but yeah, that's the set up right now. So this is my little perfume shelf. And I just went on um, Instagram, Instagram, Amazon, and I just found one of these that have four shelves to it. So now I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four of the ones with the four shelves, because obviously, um, my collection is getting kind of massive. So pretty. I love it. Um, I'm going to take these three shelf ones and sit them over here because this is Trey's area. Cause <laughs> Thanks to moi, he has a delicious looking um, collection as well. So that's going to sit over there. And then as far as this little open space, I'm still trying to figure out if I even want a, um, I'm trying to figure out if I even want a television in here. Cause I'm thinking if I have a TV in here, it's going to be there, but I want a desk between these two, um, shows. I'm thinking a black desk. I have a particular look in mind, that I have not found and the one that I did find was um, in Kim Kardashian's price range is that's in her tax bracket so yeah I don't know I'm looking for like a nice dupe or something like that but yeah now as far as this room over here is honestly just an extra room I'm still cleaning it out because this is where I had all my clothes all okay y'all all of these clothes are clean. I literally just finished laundry. No, I didn't just finish. I have like one more load left and I have to finish getting this load out of the um, dryer. But I threw everything over there because I actually, I'm gonna, I threw everything over there because I'm gonna sort through all of my clothes because there's a lot of stuff that I just don't wear anymore. So I just wanted to clean everything before I sort it through everything to see what it is that I'm keeping and what I'm gonna probably send to my family and see if my siblings want anything. So, yes, oh, before I show y'all Mia's room, Darion's room. It's gonna be this room here. Like I said, we haven't started um, his room or anything yet, but this was the shelf that I had in my room, in my room last time I was here. But I'm going to use it for his room. That way, um, the system I was planning on anyway would be he'll just hang up all his clothes for the five days he has to go to school here. Like, just get his outfits and all that stuff ready Sunday. Um, shoes and stuff like that. Like, whatever knickknacks he wants to put up. And then I found these things that was on sale for, um, what was it? It was on sale at Hobby Lobby. I got his 
honestly use it as a monitor but there's a tv in here and so for him i'm not sure what i want to do because my baby is 13 now he's 13 so i'm not sure what i want to do i can't get him these little baby decorations and stuff like that it has to be functional because y'all he's in middle school and so um I'm trying to see by the time I get him, I don't know, because he's saying he wants to finish out middle school with his dad and then come with me in high school. So we'll see. But if that's the case, he'll be a freaking high schooler and <laughs> I'll definitely have to make this room like high school esque. Right. So I'm uh, I plan on being here for a little bit, even after I get out of the military. Um, to finish up nursing school and stuff like that and to be honest i just like the area i really like fayetteville i don't know i know people complain i know there's crime i know blah 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 there's crime and stuff everywhere but i like fayetteville because there's a lot of stuff to do it's really like i'm talking about a lot of stuff to do not i'm not talking about clubs i'm not talking about them i'm not talking about any of that stuff there's a lot of hiking places you can go to there's a lot of food places you can go to there's so many attractions that you can go to there's so many parks that you can go to there's so much in north carolina and i found that in fayetteville i can get to those and it's not even that far of a drive and i just love that so i'm going to take advantage of everything while i am here so i don't mind staying put a little bit longer um and again, change, plans may change because that's what the military does. Um, Mia's room. <laughs> so with the lights off, y'all, look at this. Isn't it? It's so cute so far. It's really cute. So um, her curtains. So it started off with me asking her what she wanted to do. She says she wants a rainbow room. I said, okay, we can try to figure that out. <laughs> But here's the thing. It started with the curtains and quick story about the curtains. So when I got her the curtains, right, um, I put them up and they're really long. They're from ceiling to floor. That's how I wanted it. But when I took a picture of it and I sent it to her and I showed her, it was at night. So she wasn't able to see the little um, the little dots. They literally just look like dots. And so that's what she told me. She's like, she sent me a little voicemail back because I, as y'all, my daughter has a phone um she has a phone and she sends voice memos she'll send a random she'll she thinks she can text because she sends random letters and numbers and stuff like that but it don't say anything but if you don't text her back she will call you and be like why didn't you did you get my text like you didn't text me back y'all her text literally be unicorns a two three f g seven apple 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 like girl what am i <laughs> she's six anyway I showed her she sent me a voicemail she's like yeah I like them but they have those dots on there and so I'm like baby those are stars and so I had to show her in the morning so when you turn on yeah they're dark at night but then this the light shines through in the daytime and they're stars and I thought that was so cute y'all she sent me another voice memo after that talking about oh my gosh mommy 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 I thought those were dots. I thought those were dots. I'm like, oh gosh. Anyway, back to her room though. <laughs> so it started with the curtains and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get the curtains, but then I wanted to get a carpet. So I got this carpet. I got this carpet because I thought it was, um, well, it's, it's a six by six carpet, but y'all, this is tiny. This is tiny and I was gonna send it back, but I'm like, um, I guess I, I can try to make it work. But then, I went to Ross and when I picked out this, now that looks cute together, right? But what about this matches every other aspect in the room? Like, so it's just, it's so imbalanced. And yes, she's just a kid, so she probably wouldn't even care about this, but I do and it hurts my eyes. This is so loud and bright. It's even brighter than the carpet. I mean, it's even louder, brighter than the um, curtains brighter than any of this so i just bought her a new set of sheets that's a little lighter pink hopefully it matches the curtains because i was trying to get the sheets to match the pink that's there in the curtains and i'm just going to put these away for now probably use that like next time i decide to decorate her room trey bought her this super big <laughs> 
unicorn that she's actually going to freaking love she is going to love that so he got her that and so i'm thinking yeah the room needs to be a little bit more colorful so this back here gotta go um but the thing is i also bought this i also bought this here which is um her name and i want to put that up over the wall but the thing is the color of this it's kind of like the color of these flowers but i think i'm gonna put it up anyway because i just thought that was super cute um sam you always got to be nearby and um these butterflies so oh my back oh my back it's 70 something butterflies in here and they're just different sizes different shapes kind of different colors but they still fall within that pink range but more so kind of purplish which is fine because her favorite color is purple and i'm thinking i'm going to fall more into the pink and the purple in her room so what i'm doing with these today is i want to put them on this wall because i've been torn about what i want to do with this wall i thought i was going to go ahead and just put like um a rainbow on the wall i didn't know if i wanted to, to go here just over to that wall or whatever the case like just a rainbow here but i'm going to make a butterfly wall starting from here and i want it to kind of branch out across the wall so that's what i want to start on today in my head it looks really really pretty so i'm hoping when the thing actually comes to life it looks that way because y'all that's how i decorate i'll be standing there literally doing this like measuring stuff in my head because i can see what i want on the wall like i can actually see the butterflies the placements and stuff like that but it's like just because it looks like that in my mind it's like using that thing from amazon where you can kind of see the couch sitting in your living room to see if it fits but then when you get it it's still too damn big and you got to send it back anyway yeah one of those type of things so for mia's fairy wall she also said that she wanted a fairy wall specifically a fairy wall y'all when i say her little wishes just <laughs> her little wishes just made no sense at all um nothing nothing went together and so now it's my responsibility to make all of these things that she wants in her room come together that's my responsibility so um <laughs> she's so funny so she wants rainbows she wants butterflies she wants a fairy wall she wants what else did she say she wanted she wants a she what is it um a dress up area she wants a mirror she wants a desk she wants a makeup place how big do you think this room is woman she wants a refrigerator y'all a refrigerator so yeah i have to go on amazon and get the i gotta figure out what fairy lights i had last time and then the, okay let's back it up for a second she wants this fairy light anyway y'all i thought <laughs> I built her a fairy light last time I was in these apartments. Um, and I built it because uh, Mia was scared of the dark. She was scared of the dark. She was scared to sleep in her room by herself. She was scared to go into her, well, sleep in her room at night. I don't know what it was, but she was scared. So I had bought her a night light and the night light wasn't bright enough, but then I ended up buying her a, um, what did I buy her? I bought her one of those little, this. I bought her one of these back then as well but then that thing apparently was too bright because then it was keeping her up with the motion and all that stuff so um i decided to build fairy lights <clears throat> and i told her because she came in one night and she was like i'm just so scared to sleep in my room can i like can i sleep in your room and i told her no i said go back to your room but i woke up that morning y'all she was asleep on my little um my bench that I had at the end of the bed because when I was when I was here I had a I had a a big bed but I had a bench at the end of it you know where you can sit and like put your shoes and stuff on y'all my baby done dragged her pillow and her little blanket and she was just laying on this little bench and I woke up and I'm looking and I was like she's actually scared to sleep in her room like she's actually scared to sleep in her room this isn't like a ploy this isn't this isn't a game she is actually scared to sleep in her room and i'm like what can i do to make her like be okay with sleeping in her room y'all i came up with um <laughs> fighter fairies 
I know. I came up with fighter fairies and I told her that, um, okay, I, I, <clears throat> I told her that we need to make sure we can call the fire fairies and they'll be able to protect you and any type of bad things are, are that come in your room, the fighter fairies are gonna fight them and they won't even try to come in your room. As soon as they see that the fire fairies might even be there, they are not even gonna come in your room. They're not even gonna come. And she's like, how do we call them? Do we just call them? I said, well, we are going to get fairy lights because fighter fairies like fairy lights and that's kind of where they live. They build their houses and everything in the lights. <laughs> and so um, I said, we have to buy some uh, fairy lights first. And so we went on Amazon and we're scrolling and we're looking for um because i feel like i showed y'all the lights back then i never told y'all the story behind the lights okay we're scrolling we get the we we pick the lights um she kept picking these big lights but i found some super super tiny like twinkly fairy lights so i bought those and i said um we're gonna get some vines too because you know they're fairies so they like to fly around in the trees and stuff like that so um we're gonna do that <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. So I ended up getting the vines. And when it came in Amazon, when it came from Amazon and got delivered, <clears throat> y'all, this girl was like, the fairy lights are here. We gotta hang them up tonight. We gotta hang them up. No, they were fairy fighters. I just had to ask. <laughs> They're fairy fighters, guys. They're fairy fighters. Um, so I told her, you have to make sure you turn on your fairy your fairy lights at nighttime you have to make sure you turn them on because when you turn on the fairy lights the fairy fighters they know that it's time to do their job and they can actually see because the fairy fighters see they work at night and they sleep throughout the day they work night shift those fairy fighters they work night shift long hard night shifts but if you turn it on they know because they work at night but they sleep in the daytime so you have to remember to turn them off in the daytime so they can get some sleep so they can be nice and rested and not tired for the nighttime when they have to protect you she's like what if they what if the what if the um the bad things come anyway what if the monster come anyway and i was like if the monster try to come anyway i promise you baby i promise you those fairy fighters is gonna beat the shit yes i said shit out of that bad thing it's gonna beat it so bad um and so i kid y'all not that worked it worked one she loved the way the light looked it was so pretty and i um with it the twinkles the twinkles i told her that that's them in there working they're doing stuff in there but if you go to sleep and those bad things come that's when they come out and they fight everything. So you don't even have to worry about it. You just have to make sure you get to sleep on time. <laughs> so it was one night, um, the power went out and so her fairy lights went out. Y'all, I think um, she heard the thunder and when she opened her eyes and that damn light wasn't on, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. <laughs> So that's the that's the story behind um that's the story behind the fairy lights. That's the reason um uh, my daughter wants the fairy light wall. She needs to have the fairy lights and I think that is the cutest thing. So yeah, um I gotta order the vines, I gotta order the fairy lights, I gotta get all that stuff put up. So yeah, yeah. That was was that off topic? I mean it's whatever. I'm about to go down, actually, I'm not going anywhere. I gotta go and finish brushing my teeth like I was supposed to have done like 20 minutes ago. Excuse me. Y'all, Sam got an attitude for whatever reason and it's irritating me because if you keep yelling at me, I kind of booted her out of the way and she goes, nye, nye. I tried to get her out of the box. Nye. Girl, get out, get, go, go, go to your space. But I'm about to go ahead and brush my teeth, freshen up, grab some breakfast and then, um, then sit down and like plan out what the hell I'm gonna do with this empty day of mine. White? Yeah. All right, check that.
Okay. Yeah, my internet stopped working. It's blue again. I'm about to see if it's working now. Back with you. All right, so what I'm going to do is to confirm, uh, sorry, contact the internal department that will be me back for some assistance here, all right? Because uh, you're not pulling any IP address on my end. Okay, hold on. Let me just double check here. Oh, Please it's, in line. it's working now, actually. Sure. Yeah, um, I just went and checked again. The light's blue. Hold on, let me just close out of this and try to. Sorry, just give me one more second. Sure. I started processing something with my hotspot. I just have to wait for that to finish real quick and then try it on the internet. Let's see if my TV's working as well. You cust you customized your network name, right? I did, yes. All right. And also the password. Yes. All right. All right. That should be it. That's perfect. Thank you so much. All right. All is set. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five. Five devices are now currently connect. Yes. I just put everything back on. All right, let me, let me cancel the call here. Cancel. All right, uh, is there anything else I can ask you before leaving today? Uh, no, that was all for now. Thank you so much. I'll be all. All right, thanks for being a value missing customer. Merry Christmas when it comes. And we do value your business here at Winstream. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye bye. Y'all, my internet just randomly stopped working. I mean, honestly, it wasn't that random because last night, hold on, I'm trying to see where I can sit this. Last night, my freaking internet started going super, super slow. And so the video that I'm going to try to edit and get uploaded today, and today is the 15th of December. I was supposed to have uploaded a video yesterday and I didn't get a chance to get it up because my internet was moving so slow. I mean, it was moving hella slow. And so I wasn't able to do anything. And then today it was moving slow again. I'm trying to re-register for my test. My freaking internet is crashing. Nothing is working. The TV wasn't working. I'm like, what is going on? I'm calling and they're like, oh no, we can see it's perfectly fine. Obviously it's not if I'm calling you. It's, it's, it's not perfectly fine if I'd had to wait in this queue for you to answer my call is not okay so he just helped me reset everything i have to go get sam he just helped me reset everything so it's moving so fast like i feel like even before i just had to call them my internet was not moving this fast y'all see how fast look hold on let me show y'all because this let's try loading let's go to facebook let's see what facebook does okay all right, and then, I don't know, LinkedIn? <laughs> Why do I still have those? So that was fast. What about Apple? Okay, so that was fast as well. iCloud? Boom, okay. And let's go back to YouTube. That is crazy, crazy! That is so fast, that is so fast. It wasn't even this fast before. That is insane, that is insane. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I am editing the video that I wasn't able to edit last night. At the same time, I am trying to get my life in order um, so I can start studying. I have not eaten breakfast yet and it is 11.40, which is fine. I don't even know what I wanna eat, so. What do I want to eat? Do I want to go out and get something? I got, like, I fixed my hair and stuff because I wanted to see about running to, um, I think I'm about to run to Ross real quick. I have time. I'm about to run, ugh, do I really feel like it though? What do I, what, what do I need? Like, because if I leave, I don't want to have to go back out for any reason because I just don't feel like being outside. Yes, I'm about to go. I'm about to go outside. I'm about to go to food line i don't want to go all the way to ross though ross is so far away like y'all i live in the linden oaks community right and that's like the on post but off post 
um, housing community here on Fort Bragg. And so I feel like everything is 30 minutes away. No matter where you're going, if you have to go into Fayetteville for anything, it's 30 minutes away. I hate this so much. I feel like once I finally get the house together together, I won't feel so busy because as long as I feel like I have something to do in here, I'm gonna feel like there's too much stuff to do and I can't keep up and it's so stressful. Y'all, let me get, let me, let, me, let me figure this out. Ooh, let me show y'all my charger. Oh, geez. So I bought this charger on Amazon. So I bought this charger cover thing on Amazon. I'm pretty sure y'all seen these. It's so cute. And then it's, the cord is covered. It's supposed to protect the cord. And then on the tip, it has this super cute thing that is not focusing so you can't even see it right now. There we go. Oh, dropped it. Ugh. Anyway, this cute thing right here. How cute is that? It matches this part i think that's so cute but y'all when i say putting this part on was so stressful and so time consuming it made no sense at all but it's super cute so i'm over here wondering why sam got an attitude sam <laughs> are you mad y'all look who's sunbathing Sam, she is so mean to him. Sam, you want some food? Because it's not like you eat it anyway. So I have this box of food that Sam never wants until she sees me going for it to give it to um, Fred outside. I bought her the hard food that bought that box of food in there because that's what she eats. When she, when I give her one of these, this is what she does to it. She literally just eats the gravy off of it and that's it. So this was a waste of food. So because she don't eat it, I, I'm just giving it away until it's gone. Sam's an asshole because she knows she don't want this. She doesn't even want this. She just wants it because she knows I'm gonna take one outside. That's it. This is such a waste. This food is so expensive low key and this is such a waste. So that's hers. And actually, I have some cans out here I gotta pick up, huh? Hold on. Somewhere. Hi! He'll flee, but then he'll come back. Just watch him, y'all. Watch as soon as that starts up. Look, look, look. He'll flee. I have to open this slowly so I don't scare him. He used to be scared of even when I would open the can. Hi! Oh, come on. It's two of you. There's another one that looks just like him, and I feel like now he's been doing a switcheroo. Here, let's come Let's come over here. Let's come closer right here. You hate me right now. Excuse me. Don't show off. You don't even like this food. You don't like it, baby. You don't like it, and it's okay. Okay. So, that's out of the way. Y'all, let me finish getting my life together before I walk outside. Cups that are all set. Bitches in my old phone. I should call but it go home. I've been in this love too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much. I'ma call her in you and say, fuck that. Just got back from the grocery store. I went to Food Lion. I have my 
groceries here that I'm about to go ahead and put away. And don't say anything about my groceries being on the floor. And I only say that because y'all, I did a um, I did a grocery haul. I don't know when it was. It was quite some time ago when I had uh, went grocery shopping and I like showed the groceries and stuff that I had got from the commissary. I think I was showing like my commissary haul and stuff like that, like me grocery shopping on pose at the commissary. Mm -hmm. And I, when I come in, I sit my groceries on the floor. I don't have time to sit my groceries all throughout the cabinet because sometimes there's stuff there. And I had someone say, someone commented and was like, um, you shouldn't sit your groceries on the floor. That's disgusting. Like that's food that you have to eat, blah, blah, blah. Listen, if the food, if the if the floor inside of your house is so dirty, you can't sit your food on top of it. The food that's not even unpackaged, still in grocery bags. If your grocery, if your floor is too disgusting, that your grocery bags can't even touch the floor, you have a bigger problem than putting your groceries on the floor, don't you think? But I'm about to go ahead and put my groceries away. I stopped at Taco Bell and grabbed me a steak quesadilla without cheese, extra steak, extra sauce. I got a um, strawberry, a wild strawberry cream drink. I think that's what that is. And some, um, and some natural fries. I'm about to go ahead and put this away so I can sit and actually eat my food. Cause y'all, this is the first thing that I'm putting in my body today. I ate, I just ate like three fries. It was so good. And it is 1.30. It's 1.30. <laughs> Oh, y'all probably don't even care about this, but Yu Yu Hakusho, right? First of all, Yu Yu Hakusho, that is my favorite, my favorite anime. I don't know why. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's my favorite. It was just, I don't know. I, it was just one, I don't know. I just love how I can follow the story, all of the sad fighting scenes, the little romance, the sass, the sadness, the story. Like, I just, I just really, really love that anime. To the point, Yusuke, that's who my dog is named after. So if y'all didn't know, me and my husband, we bought a German Shepherd together and we named him Yusuke. It took a little bit for me to sell the name on my husband, but he really likes it now. But that's my favorite freaking anime. And one of my friends ended up sending me a photo of a um, of Netflix, and they have a actual like like live. Hold on, let me look it up. It's like oh, it's a movie or hold on. Here's a trailer. せ。人間界と魔界は地続きだった。人間界に忍び込んだ妖怪は人間を餌食にした。恨めし勇介。異常なスピードだな、が強かった。明らかに地位的な力だ。霊界探偵としての初指令を言い渡す。生かれるんだ
hold on. I'm supposed to be putting my groceries away. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me go to my account. But let's go to here. Oh my goodness, look at it. Oh, 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 I can't. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I got carried away. I got carried away. I gotta put away the groceries real quick. Okay, so that's good. You know what? I'm cleaning this mess later. I don't care. I'm about to finish watching my show. I'm gonna see y'all later. Probably later, later. But I'm gonna see y'all later. Still downstairs watching uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. But I decided to take a break. Because I'm baking in my teeth. <sighs> I decided to take a break so I can come up here and start putting these butterflies on me as wall. Because I'm actually pretty excited about that. I was downstairs. And it randomly popped into my mind like, I wanna see what that wall is gonna turn out like. I already have one of the packs open. And yeah, I already have one of the packs open and I still have these packs. So four packs. Topping up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Okay, all right. After some time later, I kinda got all the butterflies up there. I couldn't really figure it out because with the repeated patterns, I couldn't figure out what was going where. Then by the time I got here, I realized I had used so many small butterflies. So obviously I went back and start filling it in with like some bigger butterflies. And then I kinda did that throughout. And then I kind of scattered these only because I have some more butterflies coming in the mail. Again, the ones that are more like purplish, pinkish, I, I believe. I have to double check, but I think I did them. Actually, oh no, I think I got them more purple. I mean, more pink again, but that's fine. That's okay. Um, it was the exact, is the exact same like sets of butterflies so i think that's actually going to work out perfectly because i'll be able to um add some smaller ones in and then spread it across um and then i'm gonna buy a pack of really big butterflies and then over here around like her name i'm just gonna add like the bigger butterflies i think it's like a pack of 10 big butterflies and i'm gonna like one, two, three, four, five, like, you know, just the big ones over there. So I don't know. I think this is going to be super cute. I was about to. Oh, her name. I'm about to hang her name up. Yes. It's coming along, but let me go and find what I need to hang up her name and where. Huh. Okay. Y'all, I just, um, I just finished putting Mia's name on the wall with the butterflies that aren't finished yet. But that looks perfect. That looks perfect. I feel like my eyes are trying to tell me that it's crooked, but it's not. It's not though. I promise it's not. But y'all, I, I put this name up on the wall, right? And I wasn't even done putting it on the wall. I think I got to I'm trying to lean up against something i think i got to ami and i'm sitting over here just looking at it to make sure it's even and i'm holding 
last A in my hand and I'm literally, I'm so, I don't know. What hit me? What was the emotion? What was I even feeling at the time? I felt like I'm excited to be doing this because I know she's going to like it a lot. She's going to love this room. But is that where her excitement to come back to live with me ends, if that makes any sense? I, like I said, I haven't had either of my kids, like by myself, just me having to like the full responsibility for the past three going on four years and I don't know what to expect. I feel a little bit of embarrassment and I feel a little bit of shame because I don't know if I'm ready to get my kids back even though I've been a mom for 13 years. I did this all on my own for so long and now my mental health was just so bad that I couldn't and now I don't know if I can and that brings me a lot of shame. It brings me a lot of shame and I tell people that I'm so nervous and I'm I don't I don't know if, like do I have it in me and everybody oh no you'll be fine though don't, don't don't worry about that you'll but like we don't know that I just don't know if I'm good enough, right? And I know that sounds so stupid, but can I do, like, can I do this? Like, when she gets here, I don't want her to not, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm scared of, but I'm, I'm terrified on top of the fact that my life is about to take a big ass transition. Like, this shit is scary. And I just don't know how to plan for it. Y'all, I'm getting out of the army. Like, it's... It's official. And that shit terrifies me. Like, I know it's for the better, but... What the hell is my life supposed to look like? Like, what am I supposed to do with the kids? And what, like, schools and dental, support, dental appointments, doctors, um, you know... Like, all the things, like, am I going to have the free time? Am I going to have the the funds? Am I going to have the things that I once had when I was able to provide my kids with any and everything I wanted and needed to? You know. I just honestly, I think what it is, is I haven't had them. And the fact that I haven't been able to have them, I feel like a shitty mom. I feel like a shitty mom. Like I said before, I was blessed to have my sister here because she's the reason like we were all able to be under the same roof for as long as I was because I just could not function like, I wasn't getting the behavioral health appointments that I needed. I wasn't getting the medication and stuff that I needed. I wasn't getting the, 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 the treatment and therapy and stuff that I needed. And it came to a head. And I just couldn't do anything. Like, I literally couldn't do anything. I couldn't even figure out how to brush my own fucking teeth without having to go step by step. And, and because of that, I haven't been able to have them. And it makes me feel like shit. It really does make me feel like shit. I just... I just want, when I get her, I just want her to be in a... 
a happy, clean, healthy place. full of love and encouragement and just all the things that I was able to do for them before that for some time that I wasn't able to give to anybody because I was just numb to everything like I had no emotions to give and so I'm just <sighs> Angel if you're watching this I was so blessed to have you here and I just want to thank you because I kid you not that meant everything to me like that time was pivotal that time was crucial and i needed somebody there and you were there and i gotta do this by myself this time and i know i'm gonna do a good job And I'm going to do the best that I can, but I am terrified. I'm terrified. Because I'm sitting here getting this room together. And this is like, this is nothing. This is like the bare minimum of making sure, you know, your kids have a nice room and stuff to go to. But then it's like, the parenting and being a mom and all the important stuff and the protection and the raising and uplifting all that stuff is what um I don't know it's what I start thinking about after that like beyond all the cute little things am I going to be like am I good enough to provide what they need basically so. but yeah I just want to come on and say that because this is my life like it's so many changes happening at one time and it's it's hard and it's scary and I'm trying to like keep up with the pace of how fast everything is changing and that shit is just driving me absolutely insane I can't plan for it I'm trying to plan for it but it feels like it's impossible because I just everything is it's, it's a lot of stuff that's up in the air right now and I can't necessarily start planning for anything until some things start falling into place. So I can kind of know where to start. So until that time comes, <laughs> can I help you? Wow, you're rude. She's just sniffing everything again. I got to take her to the vet. Um, She has some scratches and owies and stuff from when she was outside I guess but but yeah I'm just waiting for everything to kind of like settle and fall into place so I can feel a little bit better about making decisions because it's like I can make decisions all day long and I'm going to plan this and I'm going to do that and everything can do a complete 180 and I'm back at square one so I'm just stuck right now just waiting and so that's hard that's hard because like I have all these plans and all these ideas and all these goals and all these things that I want to do with me and the kids and the places we want to go but if I'm not going to be here in like the next six months then like what's the point of planning it's so hard but let me go ahead and finish this wall um the last thing I want to do is put these flowers around the name just so I can kind of see what it looks like because that was the reason I bought everything together because I really love the way that looks so I'm about to go ahead and what are you doing why are you <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and put this up she's staring at me like a crazy person <laughs> oh my gosh just finished putting up Mia's name y'all and it's so freaking cute I mean I was her name was already up but I put some um I put the flowers around it and that is so cute but I love that I love that oh my gosh I feel like that's cute right it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute when the other ones come 
now that I am done with that, I'm about to, let me turn this off. I'm about to go back downstairs and get on the Zon, <laughs> get on Amazon so I can look for those fairy lights and um, the vines that I need to buy. You back again? Where did you take her? So it is time to call it a night. I mean, not go to sleep, call it a night, but put the camera down, put any type of important things that I need to do down for the night because I've had it. Oh, my goodness, this ponytail was so tight. I will sit here and finish watching my show. Yeah, it's so good. I feel like it was kind of rushed. I wish they kind of. I wish they would have kind of honed in a little bit more on the details from the original anime, but I get it. These are actual people and not just some type of, you know, drawing or whatever. So I, I get they can't do all of the things, but like there was like main pieces so far. There's the main pieces they left out. That's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Like the build up, the build up up to when Genkai dies. Like, come on, we needed that. We needed that train and montage when she actually gave him the spirit orb. We needed to see him in pain. Like, we just needed it. Like, the like the, we needed those things. And they didn't put it in there. They, they didn't do it. But it's still good. It's still good. I'm still going to watch it. But, yeah, that's it for tonight, y'all. I'm about to finish drinking my beer as well. Listen, I'm not a beer person i'm barely an alcohol person i'm barely a wine person i'm not an alcohol person i'm barely a wine person so you know damn well i'm not a beer person but this beer specifically the not your father's root beer this beer specifically is the only beer i would ever let touch my lips touch my tongue and actually flow down my throat because it's so good it tastes like actual root beer i'ma see y'all tomorrow hey guys what's up it is the next day i think last time i left off i was um finishing up watching my movie which i finished i mean it was all right it was it was a cute little movie to kind of like i don't know just it's, it's nice to have a movie over my favorite anime i guess but i wish they would have put a little bit more effort into it because it was just so many things missing. I felt like it was so many things missing out of the anime that was kind of like pivotal to certain parts and certain certain turning points, you know, things that they kind of left out. And so I was just kind of like, mm, I guess. But other than that, I guess just for a Netflix movie, it was it was it was all right. I'm only coming on here to go ahead and close down this vlog because yeah, it is the next day. Obviously you see I'm back up, got the baby's hair laid down again and yeah. I'm about to go ahead and head out so I can grab this present and then grab some food. It is 15.02 y'all. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just not coming back on here cause I low key forgot about it. But now that I'm about to step out, I wanna start a different vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out right here. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't.